Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi, guys, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion about the acceptance criteria of oil defects as per B31.1 boiler piping code. So, this is the power piping code. We need to know acceptance criteria of oil defects. What are the defects are there and what and what type of acceptance limit are there we need to check today you see as me b31.3 boiler piping code visual examination acceptance standard clause number 136.4.2 so this is the clause of as me b31.31.1 if, if you can see there 136.4.2 this is for visual examination so the following called indication are unacceptable so if this following indication with cage is made you see every defects have mentioned have little sketch details are there so you can easily understand so following indication are unacceptable so which type of following indication one is crack on external surface if if you see in the visual examination in the world there is a crack in the external surface you see the cracks there is the external surface in that external surface there is a crack is there so this is unacceptable we cannot accept this one in visual examination undercut on external surface if there is external surface you see there is an undercut this is only the undercut this undercut if it is more than one mm then it is not acceptable it is not acceptable it is unacceptable Oiled reinforcement more than specified in table 127.4.2 so what is 127.4.2 if you see that as me b31.1 the piping code the oiled reinforcement reinforcement more than specified so what is oiled reinforcement reinforcement it is mentioned here you see from the oiled hash to the top of the oiled hash and the parent metal when is the last parent metal so this distance is called, called oil reinforcement uh, length so you see here you see here uh, this is 127.4.2 for oil reinforcement acceptance criteria if it is thickness of the base metal up to 3 1 by 8 inch up to 3 inch if it is maximum thickness reinforcement of design temperature so we need to go in the design temperature if it is design temperature is 400 degree centigrade if it is less than 400 degree centigrade then it should be like that uh, 2 mm and it should be 2 mm reinforcement and 3 mm if see depends upon the thickness and the thickness of the base metal if the thickness of the base metal changes you it will be changes for of the thickness of the uh, reinforcement uh, height so if it is 350 to 700 degree Fahrenheit 175 to 400 degree centigrade you see the changing of reinforcement length so this is depends upon two things one is thickness of the base metal another is the temperature design temperature so you understand the reinforcement of grid and longitudinal battles this is the acceptance criteria as per 127.4.2 now if you go lack of fusion on surface you see in the surface the print metal still not melted after the finish welding so this is called lack of fusion on surface so you cannot accept in the visual examination in lack of fusion on surface it looks like that incomplete penetration in root if accessible okay if there is an incomplete penetration of root, you see in the root there is an incomplete penetration, but in the visual inversion, you can see that incomplete penetration in visual inversion if accessible, then it is not acceptable. You cannot accept this joint. Surface porosity with rounded indication having dimension greater than 5 mm. If it is surface porosity, you are checking the surface porosity, uh, porosity in the uh weld phase and if if you check the dimension is greater than 5 mm if there is all uh, dimension are there and if you find any dimension is greater than 5 mm all altogether is greater than 5 mm so it is not acceptable so this is the weld defect for visual examination acceptance limit
crack, undercut, old enforcement, lack of fusion, incomplete penetration, and surface porosity. So it is very clear with sketch its details here. If, then we have to go to magnetic particle examination. Then relevant indication is one of from unacceptable mechanical discontinuity. What is relevant indication? Relevant indication is one from unacceptable mechanical discontinuity. If it is this unacceptable mechanical discontinuity means the relevant indication. Size of indication is the criteria. It's the criteria, not the size of the defect. So you remember always size of the indication is for the criteria. This is the acceptance criteria, not the size of the defect. So this is magnetic particle examination. You have to see acceptance standard clause 136.4.3. What is mentioned there? The following indication are un unacceptable. So what are the following indication? You see any cracks or linear indication. So you see the cracks I'm, I told uh, previously. Magnetic particle immunization, it is also in the surface defect. So surface defect means you see the surface crack. If there is a crack you find out in the magnetic particle examination, then it is not acceptable. Linear indication, you see the linear indication, linear indication is may be different types of indication, it may be porosity, it may be some types of flag, it may be some types of uh, slag inclusion, it may be in the magnetic particle in the, in the, on the surface of the oil you can see. How will, linear indication is always mentioned is like that, it is the length of the defect is always three times of the width. So this is called linear indication is the uh, just general uh, one thumb rule is there. So uh, there is uh, thumb rule. So what is thumb rule? The length of the defect is always the three times of the width. So any cracks of linear indication, it is not acceptable in the magnetic particle examination. Rounded indication, same dimension. If it is more than five, you can find out the in magnetic particle examination. There is a, a rounded indication if photosynthesis is there. If it is fine more than 5 mm, it is unacceptable. Four or more rounded indication in line separated by 2 mm edge to edge. You see here, that is the sketch is there. You see, 1, 2, 3, 4. If 4 or more than 4 or more than 4 is photosynthesis, is the rounded indication is there. And it is in the same line and separated by 2 mm edge. And, and it is separated by 2 mm edge, a distance between the H to edge is 2 mm. Then, if you find any defect is like that in magnetic particle accumulation, then it is not acceptable. You cannot accept this one because this is the more chance of this, uh, distortion. One distortion will come in the same same line. It will become all distortion will come in the same line. That's why this type of defect is not acceptable in the acceptable in the magnetic particle accumulation. Liquid penetrated examination you have to see in the uh, B31.1, 136.4.4, acceptance standard clause is 136.4.4. So the following indication are unacceptable, the same you have to liquid paint and you have to follow the same uh, as per the magnetic particle examination. Any cracks or linear indica indication also it is not acceptable. Also rounded indication dimension if it is more than 5 mm it is also not acceptable and 4 or more rounded indication in a line separated by 2 mm edge to edge it is not also acceptable. So this is magnetic particle and liquid particle liquid penetrated examination is the same acceptance criteria. Then ask me B31.4 on bullet piping code, if you see radiographic examination, we have to go the radiographic examination. Radiographic examination clause is, acceptance standard clause is 136.4.5. So what is mentioned there? The following indication are unacceptable. Any type of defects, any type of cracks or incomplete fusion or penetration. If you see in the radiographic examination, there is any cracks okay inside the welding it is not now radiographic emanation you understand this is not the surface this is in the cracks the any types of crack you find out in the inside of the oil an incomplete fusion it is not fusion in the parent metal it is not complete fusion parent metal and the oil metal then this is incomplete fusion it is not acceptable, acceptable. incomplete penetration if it is penetration not root penetration is not there properly and penetrate not there then it you cannot accept this joint so any types of cracks incomplete fusion and penetration it is not acceptable in that uh, b31.4 
B31.4 boiler piping port in radiographic examination. Now, elongated indication. What is elongated ind indication? You see, elongated is maybe stack inclusion, maybe lack of sidewall fusion, etc. If it is greater than like this, in greater than in the below all condition, you see the all condition. Just I am giving one example in flag inclusion in the elongated indication. What are the maximum acceptable limit? 6 mm for thickness up to 19 mm. If the material thickness, parent metal thickness 19 mm, then you have to aggregate 6 mm. Total 6 mm is acceptable if lack of flag inclusion. If the elongated indication any is there and you have to count all this defect and including aggregate 6 mm and if it is uh, 6 mm in uh, up to 19 mm bend metal thickness then it is acceptable if it is aggregate 7, 7 mm then it is not acceptable so this is the this is the three things one is up to 19 mm another is 19 to 57 mm you see one third of t for thickness from 19 to 57 mm so one third of t lack flag inclusion is acceptable up to thickness 19 to 57 mm if it is more than one third t then in 19 to 57 mm then it is not acceptable same you have to go have to go 19 mm is acceptable for thickness more than 57 mm if it is more than 57 then 19 mm thickness is acceptable so group of align indication with aggregate length more than in length of 12t. So if it is group of align indication is there with aggregate length more than t. If it is more than thickness, then length of 12t. In 12t, in 12 times t thickness and it is more than t, then it is not acceptable. So this is a very simple radiographic donation. What are the acceptance limit, acceptance standard? You have to see then ultrasonic examination. What are the acceptance standard? If the same acceptance standard is for as per uh, uh, as per the radiographic examination. So radiographic examination and ultrasonic examination is the same acceptance criteria. So what are the clause number? Acceptance standard clause number is 136.4.6. What is discontinuity? Discontinuity is evaluated as being crack, lack of fusion, or incomplete penetration are unacceptable ligatures of length. So this is crack, lack of fusion, and incomplete penetration are unacceptable ligatures of length. It is regardless of length. Other discontinuity is same as as per radiographic examination. You see, 6 mm for thickness 19 mm length, 130 for thickness 9 from 19 to 57 mm length, and 90 mm thickness for more than 57 mm. I think this is the this is the acceptance criteria everybody understand from the beginning. As per B31.3. Piping code, boiler piping code. We'll go the next one by one acceptance criteria for all of the standard. So this is for today. Thanks for watching my video and please don't forget to share and subscribe my channel to get regular video. Thanks a lot again.